This is Ian Watson, Blue Circle Photography, uh, and today we're going to be looking at uh, a subject I've found quite confusing. Um, I've been using luminosity masks for a while, uh, especially using Lumenzia, developed by Greg Benz, up here in the top right hand corner. Um, but Photoshop allows us to create luminosity masks, and I'm going to uh, show you briefly how to do that just as a demonstration really between brightness and luminosity and what they mean in Photoshop so uh, brightness is simply a measure on the RGB scale of where a pixel is so in terms of brightness according to Photoshop if we look up here in the info panel when I hover over the red red is at 255 it's 100% bright. If we look on green, green is at 255, 100% bright. Same with blue. Now if we go to cyan, green and blue are 100% bright. Magenta, red and blue are 100% bright. And yellow, red and green are 100% bright. Okay, that's basic colour light theory and, and how red, green and blue are our primaries, cyan, magenta and yellow are our secondaries. Okay, so we can demonstrate that. I'm just going to stick a hue saturation layer on. Now, saturation simply changes that uh, number between 0 and 255. So, if we increase saturation we see absolutely no difference in the picture apart from where the colours overlap. But in the actual main colours, there's absolutely no difference in those colours if we go above zero. And that's because they're already at 255. It can't increase them any further. However, if we go down, even though we've got six individual colours there, once we desaturate them, it takes them down to the same grey tone. Again, apart from where we've just got a few overlaps uh, to do with how my brush is set up. So, all, all of these colours, even though they're different colours, saturation, that value between 0 and 255, doesn't take into account the colour. Luminosity, on the other hand, is what I'm going to call perceived brightness. So in my mind, this yellow, I would say, is the brightest colour. I perceive it, especially when looking at it next to another colour, that it is a perceived colour. So we're going to create a luminosity mask, a light's luminosity mask. Um, and to do that, we simply go into Channels. We command click on the RGB layer. And then we save that as a new mask. And if we go and look at that, let's just look. We've got yellow. If we go into that, that is the lightest colour. The next one is cyan, the next one is this one here, which is green. And it's sort of following the order that I would say. Blue is the darkest, natural fact, red and magenta are very similar in terms of luminosity. So, to cap it off, luminosity is perceived brightness perceived brightness of one colour against another, whereas brightness is simply purely 0 to 255 on the RGB scale and it doesn't differentiate from colour to colour. I hope you found that helpful. Uh, look forward to talking to you next time. Goodbye.